this is how I got a tool box set up. Got a car stereo in here. Also got charger. This is for the phone. That way you can keep your phone and stuff charged while you're on the go. You got a computer in here as well. That way if you're working on something, you know, you can go to online. You know, do some more research. Everything is plugged in. Speaker right there running. CDs. Also got the antenna right there. That's if I want to listen to the radio. North and south down for you at this hour, but that is going to be busy as we get into the heavy commute. This report brought to you by Indeed. Glen Rose, it's most likely to have problems. Also be careful moving through the 85 bridge clubs. I'll show you how I got everything running. Over here we got all the cordless as well as chargers. On the back, this is where we got power at. So that's where you got your cell phone. That's where my cell phone is running from. So I press that and it turns it on and off. This right here is for your stereo. That turns it off. Right here, this is where I got the surge protector. I got that running. That charges the battery pack, the front stereo, as well as all of the chargers for the coilers put up. What I did, I got a search tender and I ran it, spliced it off of here, I ran it to the door, mounted it. I mounted it with that kind of connector. It's a four pin. Which goes to your 120 right here. Which goes down, comes up to the 120 right here. The reason I did that, see there are two different types. I did that because, you know, at a place like this, warehouse, People are gonna wanna find extension cords and all kind of stuff. That way I know that whenever I come here every day, this cord is always gonna be on my toolbox. You can't use this cord on anything else here except my toolbox. So I plug that in. And when I need to charge it, anything, I just take this. Plug it up. And that charges the battery pack. Get the surge set the power. As well as that charges everything over here. It also charges the computer. So what I can do is pretty much at the end of the shift when I'm getting ready to head to the house, I'll just take the cord, run it to the outlet, charge it. That way, when I come in the next day, everything is good and ready to roll. I'm 
gonna do next is I ordered a 12 volt to 24 volt step up. I'm gonna hook that step up regulator to 12 volts I got over here. So I'll splice off. This is my 12 volts coming in from the power box to the stereo. I'll splice that and run my step up to that. That way I can test sensors and everything while I'm at work on the go. So if you ever want to get, you know, some sound system in your stereo, I mean in your toolbox, get you a battery pack. I got it out like that because it was big and it kind of works because I can just reach back here, flip it on. And that gives a stereo power. Another one. Another one. Well, yeah, that's how you do it, then. You know, once everything, once you come in for the day, all you think you gotta do is unplug it, and you're good to go. Just ran the uh, antenna for the stereo right there. Just ran through the box to the back. And it goes back over out the hole over here. Back inside to the back of the radio. Well, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Start the phone, that way you know, everything's good to go.